Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to our outdoor kitchen and we're gonna cook some crepes. Or do you say crepes? I was getting an argument with my wife over this. But anyway, let me point out some of the accessories that we have. So what we're using is a 17 inch Blackstone grill. Uh, we have this cover that came with a carry case that it came with. We bought all these items separate. I know Blackstone does sell a package, but we didn't like the Blackstone stand that it came with because it was very heavy and bulky. And this one is much lighter weight. It folds down into a very small size, has a carry handle down here, and it's about the size of a suitcase. It also has two more trays like this on the bottom, but we don't use those. We just uh, use it in this configuration. Some of the other accessories that we bought to make this really functional were these wind guards. And so they don't make wind guards for the 17 inch model, but we bought the ones for the 24 inch and it came with four of them. And the fourth one I use on the front, it's right down here in our storage and I could put it right there in the front if needed. And it works perfectly. So uh, don't shy away or uh, we made homemade ones at first and they were just horrible. Buy the 24 inch ones specifically made for uh, Blackstone grills. Okay, the other thing we did to accessorize this is we don't use the little small uh, Coleman bottles. What we did is we bought a larger line that can go into a 10 pound or 20 pound gas tank that we keep on the ground. It lasts a lot longer than uh, the normal one. Lastly, to make our crepes, we have uh, two special tools. This one, which is a long spatula that can scrape underneath, and then a dowel that you go around, and I'll show that to you in a second. What we'll do is we'll add a link to the recipe for these crepes or crepes in the uh, comments below. And if you have a special recipe, go ahead and leave it in the comments yourself. Like to try some different types of things. The 17 inch, a lot of people say, oh, you need the 24 inch. It has dual burners. You can cook with different zones. I've learned that this is more than enough. You can learn where it's, the hot and cool spots are. We cooked for five people on this yesterday. Uh, I think we cooked eight burgers and four hot dogs all at the same time on a 17 inch grill. Saving space, saving weight is a priority to us uh, as we travel full time. We have a lot of other things. Uh, real estate is important in the coach, so we're not using a larger and bulkier uh, equipment. Now let's start. So the first thing we do is we put a little oil in the center of a heated pan, uh, blackstone. And I rub it around a little bit. I have my mixture right here. I take a third of a cup and I pour that directly into the middle. I'm using a very low heat on this. I found that works best. Now this tool is used to so just go around in a circle and it takes a a day or so to really figure out how to get that formed and then it's important to clean the tool off in between. What I do is I let this uh, cook for about a minute and a half on each side and it really depends on how how hot you have your setting. Like I said, I have it turned all the way down on a Blackstone 17 inch grill. Uh, 
Okay, and then this is where this tool comes in so handy. It just slips right underneath the crap and makes it very easy to flip over. And then we let it cook another one and a half minutes. Uh, you can also judge by if there's any smoke coming out. It's still cooking the batter. What I'll do is I'll plate them over here and I put a cover on them to keep them warm while the others are cooking. And then we also, you can stuff it with whatever you want. We've used Nutella, we've used peanut butter, we've used uh, blueberries, which you just get some fresh or frozen blueberries, put them in a pan and on a low heat and boil them down. Strawberries work well, any kind of fruit that you want to uh, stuff the crepe with is uh, possible. Of course, they're also good with just powdered sugar. This one looks to be done. I fold it in half and then fold it in a quarter, put it in under the cover, and just repeat the process. A little bit of oil, wipe it around, a third of a cup of batter, and then the important part. And the more batter you use, the bigger you can make this. And then we wipe. If you don't wipe the tool off, what happens is the batter starts to stick, and so when you go around, it'll drag and um, not make it a perfect circle. Okay, and, and that's all there is to cooking crepes on your Blackstone griddle. We'll go now inside to the kitchen and take a look at Corinne making the uh, blueberry filling that we're going to have today and also we have a powdered uh, shaker that we're going to put some powdered sugar on there also. So let's go inside. Yummy, these look really good. When I, when Jim was outside doing all this, which he really loves to do, I'm in there making the um, inside, which is just blueberries. All I do, and I'm going to shut this off because this is actually the consistency I like when they're kind of just starting to split and I like some whole berries, but all I do is put fresh berries, these are organic berries, fresh berries into it. I don't put any water, I don't put anything else. And then I just put it on a, almost a really high heat. And in the beginning I'm stirring to make sure they're not sticking to the bottom. But as soon as they start, um, a couple of them pop, there's liquid on the bottom. And then I let them get nice and soft. We'll end up putting these inside, which I guess we should probably do. And, so I'm actually, I don't want like all that liquid necessarily. Ooh. So I'll use this to kind of take out some of the liquid, but put these blueberries in it. This is like my favorite, one of my favorite breakfasts. Put lots of blueberries, lots of antioxidants, and then just roll them. No, nothing, I don't do anything fancy here. Um, and then Jim likes to put the little sugar, and I, I put, I put some, I don't necessarily put on mine, but this is actually really healthy, especially if you don't use the sugar. It's just a little flour, milk, we use almond milk, and then a um, and then just the blueberries, so lots of antioxidants. We love cooking on the Blackstone. Jim is usually doing the outside stuff, I don't cook on it, and then I'm doing anything that's in here, getting everything ready. I hope you like this video. If you like, you can um, subscribe and get more of these kind of videos. I'd also be really interested in hearing what your favorite recipes are. We're always, you know, we're on the road. We cook almost all the time outside when we can. So we'd love to hear what your favorite recipes are. Put them in the comments below and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.